right next question with reference to international association of marine aids to navigation and lighthouse authorities ayala i a l a consider the following statements one it was established very recently in response to incidents of piracy and accidents of oil spill two it's a non profit organization in compliance with the un convention on the law of the seas un clause india is one among the council members select the correct answer using the code given below one only one and two only three only one two and three so this is very new thing uh, many of them don't know about this uh, many of them will be knowing about this so anyway i'll be explaining this in detail uh, about ayala see uh, ayala actually is a non profit international organization correct it's a technical association correct it was established in 1957 under a french law not under un clause un clause is something different i will have a brief explanation of that in the next slide so this was especially signed in france actually and france took the initiative and under their law so it's under french law not in compliance with un clause so anything that is related to marine or maritime security uh, will not be under un clause no anything there are some uh, laws or some associations under un clause but not all so that's what you have to take from this so what it does it gathers together marine aids to navigation authority so name itself suggests like we we they will be providing aids to those who are traveling in sea the ships the you know containers uh, the passenger ships fishing ships everyone and they will integrate this with lighthouses where lighthouses provided for them to have a you know good navigation and to help them in distress so all these technological aspects of that all the technical aspects of that will be covered they will be you know research will be there I mean, they will be inviting many parties they will be conducting conferences and all the member countries all the you know private as well as government officials and and organizations will be there contributing their own ideas how to improve this navigation how to have a early warning disaster system and all those things <coughs> so uh, just read it uh, it have marine marine aids to navigation authorities manufacturers consultants scientific and training institutes see all are covered from all parts of the world and offers them opportunity to exchange and compare their experiences and achievements so that is what um, just don't by heart the lines just understand each component of a sentence and then make yourself a note of picture of that so again it encourages its members to work together in a common effort to harmonize aids to navigation worldwide and to ensure the safe and cost effective movements of uh, vessels vessels including passenger and container vessels which carry goods and uh, also environment protection so it have many components provide navigation provide support uh, integrate all the lighthouses improve the technology and uh, technical aspects of it as well as protect the environment see ship waste and uh, ship wreckages are one of the major waste under the marine bed so uh, th they are the major deposits so we have to reduce that because it it one 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 time it will cause destruction of that ocean bed and marine life so we need to also consider environment protection so any initiative if a statement has environment protection as a component probably 90% it won't be wrong actually it will be right because environment protection is the motto of almost all the governance initiatives and organizations and again it uh, encourages cooperation between nations to assist in developing this nations you know the developing nations also and uh, factual part it has the council ila council has 24 members and out of this 24 members one member is india so india was india has been a member in the council member, uh, you know the council has 24 members and india is one among them so and from india our representatives is ministry of shipping that is directorate general of lighthouses and light ships and uh, which is under ministry of shipping uh, nitin gadkari and uh, so then uh, we will have a slight look on un clause then we will solve this question okay now un clause is something different un clause was uh, you know there was freedom of the seas doctrine in 17th century you know because at that time uh, there, there was no uh, you know a global organization was not there only after the world war 2 we have a global like U, un uh, that kind of thing wto and all those things came after the 
second world war <coughs> So before that in 17th century, 16th century we didn't have anything. So the doctrine of the freedom, doctrine of freedom of the seas means each country can have uh, a, a slight extent to this uh, ocean or the sea territory like uh, each country we can fix like 200 nautical miles or 150 nautical miles. So they can extend their territory and in that, that will be their own country's territory. Ab above from that, that will be free, free, uh, anyone can use it, anyone can travel from there. So each country had a separate law, each nation had a separate law that governed this territorial waters or whatever it is. So we don't, we didn't have a common rule. So uh, by, you know, after 17th, 18th century colonialism began and after colonialism many countries were, you know, they wanted to extend their power. Uh, all the countries were in a uh, competition with each other to have their own power extended to offshore places as well. Uh, you know, many, uh, even now China is doing that in South China Sea. So that is what. And 1940s uh, to 70s, again, uh, many nations were there who came up with their own law to have this established the jurisdiction over the seas. Since there was no common law of the seas, talks began in the UN. So that is where UN clause began to evolve. So since there were no common law in the, in the, uh, to control this, you know, uh, everywhere we should have a common law, like uh, in criminal activities we have international court of justice so if no one is there to look after them uh, icj will be taking care of that so that is we have some umbrella thing all around globally so uh, that was lacking in this ocean uh, aspect so that is why your talks began in un and then which resulted in the formation of un close convention on the law of the sea so this was established in 1982 on december 10 and uh, now at present 150 members are there and 60 plus nations have already ratified it. This is a brief version of UN close. Now we will solve the question that was asked. So out of this, first statement is wrong. It is, uh, I mean, first statement is wrong. It's not for any incidents of piracy and accidents of oil spills. No, it was not uh, established recently. Actually, it was established, established in 1957. So second one is, the first part of the statement is correct, the profit, non-profit organization, but it is not in compliance with UN clause. It is under a French law. And third one, India is one among the council members that is right. So the option becomes C, three only.